Daffer, broker owner of Advance One Professional Real Estate. We're here today to bring you the market trends for the entire Metro List area and our local market in San Joaquin County. And this is... Hi, Diego Maldonado with Advance One Professional Real Estate. I'm going to go ahead and go over the chart for Metro List services. So, as you can see on the chart in front of you, there's active, contingent, no-show, pending, green backup, hold, pending, and continuing uh, show. So the blue represents April and the orange represents March. As you can see in the actives on April, they were, you know, more than in March. As far as continued no-show, they're about the same. Pending bring back up in orange. And as far as March, there's more than uh, April. As far as holds, they're about the same. Pending, it's um, obviously more in orange than in the blue, which is uh, April. And the contingent no-show, they're about the same. And as you can see, we have a graph here for the entire Metro List area, service area. And according to this graph for March of last year, we had 757,569 7, active properties, and we had uh, 3,607 actually sold. In March of last year, or this year, sorry, we had approximately 5,893 listings for the entire Metro list, and we had 3,335 solds for the entire Metro list. And then the red line is our pending properties. So as you can see, for March of last year, we had 4,158 um, pending properties. And if you go all the way to a year from that date to March of this year, we had 3,609. So there is a little bit of a difference overall for the entire Metro List area. But overall, I think that we show that we do still have a good market here that's going on. So thank you. So here we have a graph that's for actually just San Joaquin County. And the light green is our uh, for sale properties. And the dark green is our sold properties. And the red graph line is the pending properties. So if you just look from March of last year to March of this year, you can see that um, we had 1,136 listed properties for sale. And in March of this year, we had 807 for sale properties. So actually our inventory was low um, this past March, considering what we had for sale um, last year in March. And this year, we sold um, 518 properties last year in March. And then this year, we sold 508, only 10 properties different. In, in comparison from year to year. So the market is still really strong. The inventory is really low. And Diego's gonna tell you about our pendings. So as you can see on our pendings on March 2019, there were 615 pendings and March 2020, 571. As you can see, the market's still strong. And if you're still on the fence thinking about if you should buy uh, a property, Tammy here is going to give you some tips to help you make a decision for yourself and your family. Well, if you're still um, in the market to buy a property right now, interest rates are the lowest they've probably been since 2009, 2010. Um, right now, um, my lenders are telling me our FHA rates are in the mid threes to high twos for an FHA loan. So if you're capable, willing, or thinking you want to buy, now is still a really good time because the rates are still really good and the market's hot. So if you're interested, we're here to help. Um, give Diego, me, or any one of our agents in this office at Advance One Professional Real Estate a call. We would sure love to help you. Thanks for watching our video and we will see you next week.